All right, uh, let's get a read of where all of this is going right now. Fox contributors Jimmy Borelli join us and Jessica Tarloff along with market watcher Melissa Armo. Uh, the, the stocks were crazy on this today and Aaron McPike. Uh, Aaron, anybody begin with you? Is it your sense of what is changed here. Um, now, Red Rose and Sinead already said, and of course the president got assurances that whatever's going on Mueller, um, he was not the, the, the target of that. How is that but, anything new? That's what I want to know. So, because so, Comey so, told him it wasn't a target last year. Okay, well, but things happen in investigations. Sure. I can understand that. But in revisiting him last week, was there something that we missed or something when Bloomberg to seize on to say that this this was post the raid of Michael Cohen's office. So what are we to make of this or whether the president is off the hook? What's your sense? Well, he's what not you... ever going to be fully off the hook. This concerns him. He's just not a target. He's but, but this allows him to continue boasting about that as he's been doing for the past year. OK, um, now you're following the markets and I noticed that they were responding positively to these developments on the cave that, you know, the, the criminal referral. They like that because they, the, the, it was deemed to be you're going after and said awful things about the president and all that, and now your credibility is being questioned by no less than an Obama-appointed uh, IG. Do you buy that? Are the markets getting a relief out of this, or is it way too early? It's way too early, and also I think we saw selling today. I think we see more selling. I really, I really think the summer is kind of ruined for the market. I don't think we see new hires maybe till the end of the year. There's too much going on. This is all crazy. Every other day there's something happening. The market doesn't like uncertainty. I think we see continued selling. So they selling. got no sense of certainty that this wasn't going to necessarily involve the president no. getting mm -mm. You know, one whatever. rally, two two days of a rally. That's not enough. Yeah, understood. Um, you're looking at this desert and you're seeing a lot of people who used to rush to the defense of Andy McCabe and they set up this half million dollar legal fund to help him out. Will the same um, people be as enthusiastic now? I don't think so, especially now that the news are, is that he was leaking about Democrats. Because I think the assumption was that if Andy McCabe had been leaking, it would have been about something that was going to hurt Trump. About the that Clinton was the narrative. Foundation. About the Clinton Foundation. About an exactly. And then the cover up of it, which seems very strange. And we can't, and we don't know. That issue, just to be clear, he had lied even to Comey about that, that when, they, when he was asked about That's what they're alleging they're here. Alleging. And then we'll have James Comey testifying against his number two. So he which doesn't is going, look as much like a victim now. He doesn't. There, and there are a lot of people like Max Boot, for instance, who's a never Trumper of a, a, a neocon descent, uh, has written about this, about James Comey and Andy McCabe as incredibly complicated figures and that we should ultimately end up on their side as people who have dedicated themselves to the institutions that make America great, but that they have made mistakes. And I would encourage everyone to read pieces like that that see the nuance in this, that it doesn't mean because there was misleading or maybe leaking of information, which James Comey still maintains, was unclassified, though there are people who say actually some of it right. was classified, that that means that they're completely right or that Trump's completely right on this. I agree with Aaron. Trump is going to keep going. But I think the point in coming out about saying that the Michael Cohen raid doesn't mean that Trump is a target satisfies those who are saying, oh, it's New York that's going to take Trump down. And by the way, there are disputes on that story, whether of, from the Michael Cohen raid, is the lawyer, whether that means that he's not a target or this extends to the Bob Mueller thing, as other news organizations say that he wasn't a target of that investigation. But targets are moving affairs. I mean, there so, are especially when you're raiding and there right. are tapes. And very on smart top. lawyers have told me that th those are moving. Target. That I understand. Deneen, though, but if you're the president of the United States, and you're hearing the brouhaha, you know, from some in your own party, uh, urging uh, Mitch McConnell um, to to go ahead and 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 shield uh, Brad Rosenstein and or Bob Mueller from being fired. Um, you know, McConnell is saying, no, I don't see a reason to do that. Would this, when these developments today, uh, justify his handoff approach? But the president has said long for a long time that he wasn't planning to fire. Uh, anyone, and so, but, but what we're really seeing, Neil, is how the deep state is being exposed. But you don't. That now. means you don't have to set up assurances and insurance policy. Oh, by passing, I, I don't protect, think that's right? necessary. No, yeah. and uh, and also we're seeing how the deep state is being exposed now. And you have the lies and leaks coming from the suits, the leaders in FBI. Andrew McCabe, he lied. He, you said four times, I think three times under oath. He needs to be held accountable for lying to f the federal investigators. That is punishable by jail. Time. I believe it's at least five years. Yeah. What, what do you think? President Trump says one thing publicly, that he is not going to fire Mueller, that he is not going to fire Rosenstein, and he clearly is saying different things to the White House staff, because that's being leaked all over Washington. But if you're Donald Trump knowing as you do, and you're fine, so, so, so he be less staff, inclined to even think about it? Correct. So this development probably just 
reassures his staff that does not want him to fire Rosenstein. Staff and all of if anything, the people in Congress that yeah. don't want him right. to fire Rod Rosenstein. No, I do think what but, Mitch McConnell said was, was absolutely Mueller. ridiculous. He, if Tom Tillis and others do want to protect Mueller, and what, Chuck business, Grass, yeah. Yeah, what business does Mitch McConnell have saying we're just not going to do this? And it doesn't hurt actually, him if he thinks it's not going to happen, if it gives the American public also reassurance that we will then see the surf. Then go forward and do it. Doesn't it, it takes always a couple come back minutes. to bite the person? If you fire a prosecutor regardless, you're, you're, you're going to pay for it. But here's yeah. the other thing. No matter what President Trump says or does, Neil, there's okay. going to be criticism lodged against him. So if he fires him, okay. everyone's going to say that he's trying to cover for something when, in fact, we have not seen any Melissa's Russian just worried collusion. she's going to lose money on this whole deal. <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm